to get your abs on fire. A disclaimer, I just did shoulders at home as we are in confinement, so this video will be fun for me. And as I also never, absolutely never do my abs or isolate them or do abs exercise, I guess I will have some sore abs tomorrow, thanks to you. So I let you with the video and have a good switch. Okay guys, let's begin. Are you ready? Things get serious when you roll up your legging or underwear. We don't care, we are at home. Let's prepare to work your abs. So first, let's warm up with the trustable plank. Keep a straight, neutral spine. Don't arch or round your back. Your head is relaxed and you're looking at the floor. So plank, it's an excellent ab exercise as it works not only the rectus abdominis, but also your whole core, from the pelvis along your spine to your shoulders. And strong core helps to stabilize, balance, get better at any other movement in your daily life. So following this by another variation, so it's hip twist. This will allow you to engage obliques even more. Press your hips down each side and you don't need to go super low, rather focus on the form. Don't injure your back or anything, especially if you have like scoliosis like me. You tend to trigger lower back pain if I'm not doing it right. Now back on your back, but it's not to get a little sleep. So it will be bicycle crunch. It's excellent to activating the restus abdominis, which is your upper abs and also your obliques. As you're raising your legs, you're also engaging the transverse abdominis, which is, you know, the deep abs muscle. But like it would be only if you are doing them correctly, meaning you are pressing the lower back firmly into the floor. Like don't arch, it will uh, renew lower back. You don't want that. Of course, your thighs are involved as well. I try to focus on as much compound exercise as possible in this uh, series. Easier variation, uh, you can simply rotate your torso and touch your elbow to the opposite knees. Like you can bend your, your legs if it makes sense. Keep pushing, guys. It's just the beginning, but you should feel your abs right now. Reptile, my favorite. Uh, I feel like you're doing like a little reptile, so I call it like that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like to keep my workout and the one of my clients fun and dynamic. It's so boring to do the classic crunches, right? Like. Not only is completely useless, like to build a strong core, you need to exercise a variety of muscles from your hips to your shoulder, and you need to have enough lower body fat in order to see those muscles underneath. But it's a long topic, I can do a video about that if you want, but I think I talk about it enough on my Instagram. Plank toe touches. I name it like that, but I'm not even sure like it's the actual name. So ensure your back is straight, that your shoulder, hips and knees are aligned. You raise your hips and then your arm touch your opposite toes. You don't bend your knees while doing this. Try to engage your core, keep pushing. Guys, what are you thinking about when you are doing your exercise? Like, are you only thinking straight of your muscle or are you letting your mind going a little bit away like have you ever actually think about what you are thinking <laughs> get mentally prepared for the next one it's side plank with a twist so it's work your core and especially your obliques of course your shoulder your glutes your quads so your arm is straight and the other arm is reaching towards the skies and do a twist. You can make beginner variation when you just hold the side plank like this. Or you can even go to your elbow or your knees. So same with a twist and advanced version will be weighted, you know, with a weight in your hand. Same, make sure to know 
how to do the movement first before adding any other weight. Come on, keep doing the little dance. <laughs> On your back again, so make sure to keep a flat back to protect your lower back on this one. Same is help to engage your transverse as well. So lower your opposite legs and arm. You should feel the burn right now because I do. <laughs> Advanced version for this one will be with a stability ball between your toes and your hands, but I don't have any unfortunately and in fact, I think I have it somewhere, but like, you know, it's the kind of thing you're using once, then it's taking the whole apartment place, especially if you are like me and you're living in a tiny studio. By the way, guys, do you have like uh, equipment at home? Let me know so I can create the best nest work and video for you based on what you have. So next is crisscross. So it's kind of a break for <laughs> all poor abs. So doing like this, it will perform mainly in the thighs, but same, uh, you need to engage your core on this one. Uh, another harder variation will be to lower your legs, like I'm doing right now, uh, as lower as you can, but I always have trouble with my hips due to my scoliosis with ex exercise, so I keep it straight. Squeeze your inner thighs together when the leg touches. Sure, guys, we are almost there. Give you all a mountain glider. So, really push it. It's the last 20 seconds. You got this, lady. I know that, lady and men, of course. Come on, keep pushing. Almost to the end. We will be proud of you at the end. Trust me. Come on, come on, come on. One and done. Ah. Rule right now after each workout session, we are doing a selfie because what actually prove you working out if you're not taking selfie, you know? And I want to see your little selfie as well. You can send me them on Instagram. So guys, I hope you've appreciated this little video. You can do this circuit like once or two. Remember that it's not doing abs that will make you have abs. You have to get an healthy overall balanced diet and focus on compound movement rather than isolation exercise and it's same for each muscle group. If you want your own training program it can be at home on at the gym as well as a meal plan then don't hesitate to ask me and it's down below. Let me know what video you want to see next and see you next time. Bye! You're too far to do that!